What up, stubborn ones? Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're out there making it happen and smashing goals. Another beautiful day here in sunny Florida. Actually, it's been raining the past couple days. It was actually also a little wetty this morning, but sun's out, bun's out, gotta take advantage. And I'd like to start this video by apologizing to all my fellow BMW owners. For far too long, I have failed you. For way too long, I have neglected my 2011 BMW 335i. Nine, 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 nine. So, a few weeks ago, my check engine light came on, my ABS light came on, my speedometer quit working, and my miles per gallon little indicator was going nuts. The numbers were going all over the place. It was saying that I had zero miles to empty, then it would say 100 miles to empty, then it would say 300 miles to empty. It was just going back and forth like that, and all kinds of numbers in between, including 69. Nice. So originally, I wasn't even gonna make this video, but I know that BMWs actually get a bad rep, and they have a stigma that parts are overly expensive, or that you need all kinds of specialty tools to work on them, or that only the dealership can work on them. So I'm actually here to debunk that, and hopefully break your fear of either owning a BMW or working on your own BMW. So as you see, this thing has been neglected for way too long. It's got all kinds of lights in here. And look at this, it's dirty. Ugh. I need to take care of my baby. Look at that, even the tires are on. So today we're gonna take care of this ABS light and that one. And we should take care of that one. That's for the emergency brake and that Hopefully that has to do with that. And that, hopefully has to do with that, and probably that. So it's probably all connected, except that. I need to look that up. And, well, it's, that's me. So this little light of mine, I'm not gonna let it shine. Oh my goodness! This just happened. <laughs> oh my God, no way. As I'm sitting here talking to you guys, another light just came on. This is nuts. If you own a BMW, please don't be like me. Please don't neglect your cars. Okay guys, so the ABS light is on because the wheel speed sensor is uh, gone bad. It's the right rear wheel speed sensor. And I know that because we connected a, a uh, one of those doohickeys on it. I forget the name right now, OBD scanners, duh. So, connected OBD scanner, all, the, uh, all these lights were pointing to the right rear wheel speed sensor my goofy ass i was like okay i'm gonna do both anyway so i'm gonna change this one first turns out when i reversed the car into the garage i done goofed i confused myself you know your boy's a little slow sometimes it's okay we're gonna get it right though one of these days <laughs> so i wasn't gonna make this video but it's so easy and I didn't see a lot of video, I didn't see any American videos on it. So why not? It's my job, you know? I'm a YouTuber, full-time YouTuber. In my head. Anyways, guys, so let's take care of that. It's kind of sprinkling, so I didn't want to let Glozilla out in the elements, but I'm not going to have enough room, so. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, this is my 1991, my 1991 Nissan Skleen. It is the Gitter Spec. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Glowzilla underscore GTR. Look at this baby. That's my money pit, boy. <laughs> if you guys ever be like, hey, you want to go somewhere? I'll be like, nah, I'm broke. This is why. <laughs> but because of that. We've been neglecting this baby, so it's time to get it right, get it right, get it tight. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell to be part of the Naughty Gang, so every time that I drop a video, you'll be the first to know you won't miss out on my goofball shenanigans. 
And of course, as always, thank you for the real ones, thank you for the low ones that never miss a video and always support the channel. I love ya. So to change the right rear wheel speed sensor quickly and efficiently, we're gonna grab all our tools, we're gonna gather them, we're gonna lay them out. I personally love to use power tools and electric tools because it's way less effort on my end. Just, you know, a quick push of the button and then boom, nuts off. Wait, what? You, you do the math. Of course you can absolutely use regular hand tools if you're a strong boy or gal and don't mind using a little bit of extra elbow grease because the important part is the socket sizes. So here are all the tools that I use for this particular job. Of course, first of all, you're gonna need the wheel speed sensor. Left and right side for the rear are both the same. I found this on eBay for about $15 each. You're also going to need a 17 millimeter for the wheel lugs. I have it on this breaker bar, which makes it way easier to break the nuts loose. <laughs> but I also have an impact wrench, you know, potato, potato. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter and an eight millimeter for the nuts and bolts that hold the wheel well covered together. You're also going to need a T30 Torx socket for the screw that holds the wheel speed sensor in place. Depending on your ride height, you may, may or may not need a low profile jack. I have a low profile jack because it makes me feel cool. And actually this is the M Sport package, which is actually a little bit lower than all the other three series. So it actually makes it a thousand times easier to just get up under there with the jack stand. And I don't have to put it on blocks or nothing crazy like that. I actually just realized that I need me one of those little stool rolling chair thingies. I'm going to put that on the wish list ASAP. But I got this cool little pink bike. That gives me some cool points. The only quote unquote specialty tool that is required, which every BMW owner should have anyways, is a special BMW jack pad adapter. It goes for around $10 a piece on eBay and it's a piece of rubber which fits inside the jack lift point. Not using one of these will damage the lift points over time. And look at this, Godzilla just flexing its beautiful color <laughs> silly me <laughs> i thought i was recording backing it in and stuff i wasn't forgot to hit the record button <laughs> Godzilla looking so so gorgeous in the sunlight y'all already know <laughs> hit the subscribe button make sure you don't miss out on Godzilla content and we're burning late light, so i'm gonna get this thing done in a hurry so first of all the <laughs> i gotta make sure that i'm on the right side because that would be tragic. We're doing the right rear <laughs> wheel speed sensor. Here we go. So of course, first of all, you're gonna jack up the car. <laughs> Don't jack up the car. <laughs> the car's already jacked up. If you know what I mean. Boo, you stink! So first, we're gonna jack up the car using the jack points. And if you have a BMW, you know you have to have one of these adapters because right here, as you can see, BMW is special. So they have their own adapters. And this will keep happening. This is supposed to be flat, but as you can tell, the people before me were not using this adapter. So this, this adapter goes right here. So that way you don't mess up your jack points. Too easy. All right, guys, here we go. So, tires off, car's jacked. Tire under the car for protection. A little towel on the rim so it doesn't, you know, get scratched on the car. Here we go. Eight millimeter, one, two, three. 10 millimeter, one, and maybe this one? I don't think you're gonna need it. So, as you can see, here is the sensor. And as you can tell, it wraps around, <laughs> it wraps, <laughs> it wraps around all the way here, it wraps around here, on down to here, and boom. That's the sensor. Right here, you're gonna need a uh, little torque wrench. So as you can see here guys, once you get this off and you follow this cable, you'll see that there's a clip here 
which I'm actually gonna take this out. It just, this is just a clip. It just, let's see, let's see, boom. And there's a clip, oh my gosh, I don't even know what this is. Look at this, this cannot be good. I need to get that, I need to get that looked at. Or what the heck is that? Ooh, I think I need a new shock. I don't know. Go down in the comments, let me know. What is that? What the heck? Whoa, what the hell? Anyways, so there's a little clip here that slides to the side, which will loosen this. There's another one right back here, which is the same thing. Top comes off, bottom slides. There we go. Bottom slides, the cable comes out. Follow it all the way up here. We're gonna take this out. Eight millimeter, one, two, three, a 10 millimeter. That'll come right out of the way and that will expose it. Let's, let's take a look. And like I said, I'm gonna put a little extension on here to give me some room. Uh, guys, this thing is so, look, one-handed. Oh. Make sure it's spinning the right way. <laughs> look at this, I'm doing this thing right here one-handed. And just like that is out. Next, up here. Just like that is out. Well, let's take this one out of the way. Oh well, whatever. Now we gotta take the 10 and move this thing out of the way. Okay guys, so I removed the 10 and just like this. You expose. Oh, gotta come under. Oh, dang it, I've gotta take that one all the way out. Just like that, you come under here. Oh, there's another little one holding it right here. Didn't even know. Okay, no worries. So there was another little eight millimeter here. My other side didn't have that, so I guess, you know, the other, whoever has worked on this car before didn't care. And there was another 10 millimeter here that I didn't see before, so. Now, you pull this, you pull this, you pull here, you tug there. Go ahead, get this out of the way. And bam, there you go. That's the culprit, that's the one. And that's the one that I got. This is the wheel speed sensor. I think this is the ABS one. So, we're gonna do this one. Also guys, get some dang gloves. Don't be like me, I'm such a goof. So as you see, you follow this here. I'm actually gonna start right here. Before I take anything out, unhook this. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. You push and you pull it out. I'm so sorry. My hands look like this, so my car can look like this. <laughs> you already know it. Anyways, here we go. I'm gonna take this out first. Then I'm gonna follow it. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take this out. Then I'm gonna put the new one in, boom. So as I take places out, here's another clip, which just slides to the side. I'm not gonna say what I wanna say about that, which involves, anyways, moving on. So that slides to the side, comes off, and I put the new one in there, just like this. I'm not gonna do magic, I'm just gonna show you. Here we go, guys. So, as I was saying, as I go down the line and remove the old cable, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the new one. And as he told you, this slides just to side, just like this. It's easier with two hands, but look at that. It's so easy I could do it with one hand, but these fingers work magic. Anyways, <laughs> that's inappropriate, I'm sorry. Car magic, YouTube magic, that's what it is. These fingers work YouTube magic. Speaking of YouTube magic, 
Here's the other one. Um, over here, I don't know if you can tell, is the other, other one, other clip, last clip, and then little, uh, little torquey boy right here to release the sensor. I'm just gonna skip forward. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. Unclipping these so I can have better access to this bottom. And this is what the little torquey boy looks like. Nice and easy, right there. Easy peasy, came right out. Bam! And just like that, our sensor is, oh, it's kind of stuck in there. <laughs> There we go. Bam. Just like that. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So I've seen videos where people chain or clean it off and stuff like that, but this thing's surprisingly cheap. It was like 15 bucks on eBay. So, you know, I went ahead and got it. Got both sides. I already did the other side. That's how I know. <laughs> That's why I'm so good. <laughs> Cause I already did it. <laughs> so Let's slide this one through here, run it along just as the old wire was, and put everything back together. Just to avoid you guys the hassle of learning how, this is was hooked on the body right there, right? So you unhook this. There's going to be two cables in here. So this little clip is what holds the actual sensor, and it just goes out just like that one-handed right and there's gonna be two cables on here including our old our new sensor and the ABS sensor and then we're gonna clip everything back together just how we found it and just like that bang boom beam thank you come again our new cable is in now we just gotta tighten these and just because you have a uh, electric, doesn't mean you have to be all crazy about it. Don't forget about our little friend down here. 10 millimeter here. 10 millimeter up here. Gut and tight. I think, I think that's what the Germans say. Gut and tight. I don't know. I don't speak German. <laughs> and just like that, we're done. Hip, hip. All right. Too easy. Now the most important part is cleanup. Don't lose your tools. Do not lose your 10 millimeter. <laughs> that is 10 years bad luck. gentlemen we are done just like that boom look at that good as new <laughs> it is new actually look at this what youtuber you know out there that out there getting their hands dirty for the subscribers baby no one name them name one who you know that has their hands dirty like this for you guys for the entertainment for the learning factor <laughs> so guys the last step would be to drive it around and the computer will reset itself once it recognizes that the new sensor is in there. So I'm probably just gonna drive it around the block for a little bit. You know, nothing fast, nothing crazy. Just around the block, just so the computer recognizes that there's a new sensor in there and it will reset itself and the light will hopefully go off. So guys, just like that, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. I don't like doing DIYs when the why is myself <laughs> because then I have the camera, then I have, it slows me down. This job by itself, if you watch this video first and then do it and do it do it right the first time it should only take you about an hour I'm, I'm not gonna lie maybe even less especially if you have the good tools and you're organized then that'll take you even less time if you get your tools out first lay them out what you need if you own a BMW you definitely want to do this yourself a mechanic is gonna charge you hella it doesn't even matter it took him an hour that's 
That's like 150 bucks right there. <laughs> so, how to do it myself. Look, for the subscribers, baby. Hey, you already know. Hit that subscribe button, baby. Hit that like button if you learned something. Let me know down in the comments if you want a little more DIY stuff. Definitely going to bring this thing back a lot, a lot more. Because I know you guys heard that muffler. That thing sounds great with the muffler delete. And nothing, nothing makes me feel better than wearing all-white Air Forces riding in an all-white BMW. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.